All right, green reader now with John Venuti again. Captain John's down at Pauly's Island. Now, one thing I know about John is he plays a lot of golf, a lot of golf. And I used to play a lot of golf with him. With, you know, I mentioned that earlier in one of the videos. So where have you played, let's say, in the last two weeks in Myrtle Beach? And let's give him a rating, uh, best overall score, anywhere between 1 through 10. Give me three courses. Well, I'm a prime time member, so I play Myrtle Beach National Courses, you know, all the time. And um, I'm going to have to give you uh, my top three would be uh, Willbrook, Litchfield Country Club, and Tradition would be my top three. Okay. Uh, talk to me about, I play Willowbrook, it's spectacular. I mean, just the scenery itself. What was the last time you played there? I played there about two weeks ago. Okay, and on a scale of 1 to 10, when you consider tees, fairways, bunkers, greens, what would you rate Willowbrook? Well, you know, we've had a lot of rain, so okay. um, it, it doesn't drain great, okay. but, but, you know, what can you do with all this rain we've had? I mean, we've just had, uh, you know, record inches in the past okay. month, but um, I would rate Willowbrook um, overall tee boxes, fairways, greens. I would give him a, uh, an 8 to 9. That's, that's a great score. That's yeah. an awesome. You know, for someone who's playing a, a trip, that's that's an awesome score. Yeah, and plus it's, it's, so, it's so pretty with all those big oh. pine trees and, you know, it's, it's a gorgeous place. Yeah, I played there myself about two months ago with my two boys. We just, you make the walk on Willowbrook and it's spectacular. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great day. All right, so you also mentioned uh, Litchfield. Litchfield Country Club. I, you know, it's, when you've played a course, 150 times like I have Litchfield Country Club and I still get excited every time I get my tea time there um, you know it's it's one of the oldest courses down here uh, a lot of dog legs you have to think your way around the golf course um, you know for a 10 handicap you know it's it's a challenge and, and, and it's just um, you know you're, you're facing a, a, a 530 yard dog leg right par 5 on one hole and then the next hole is uh, you know 370 yard dog leg left Wow, uh, par four. You know you got to work the ball, and that's to me is fun. You know I like I like to be able to you know not hit wide open fairways, and, and you know it, it, that that gives you a true challenge of golf. Uh, that's, that's why awesome. I like that place. When when did you last play and Litchfield? I played there about uh, uh, within the last two weeks. Okay, and you know, your rating, uh, your the, score. The rating there is going to be the same. You know eight to a nine. You know I'm not I'm not going to give a golf course a ten um, in the winter time. You know right. it just can't happen. Right. Here in Myrtle Beach. But we are in April. Well, you know, it's still winter. I okay. Mean, it's been a rough, long winter for these for these okay. folks. This guy, uh, the superintendent, is Max Morgan uh, of Myrtle Beach National. He oversees all the courses. So we play any one of these these courses I'm talking about. They're all, you know, they're all they're all going to rate, in my opinion, you know, seven and up. Okay. What was the third course you mentioned? Uh, what did I say? Um, I think it was uh, tradition. Yes. Love tradition. I was there yesterday. Yeah. The courses were, I thought it looked was like Augusta. Oh, it's it's awesome. Yeah. You know, and, and you, you know, there again, it's another course that's right in my backyard. I mean, it's it's three minutes from my restaurant, and, and I get excited about it. Uh, the greens are always perfect there. I mean, and it gets, a, the amazing thing is, is it gets a lot of local play, all, although a lot of, you know, guys from New York and guys from, that are making trips down from Canada. You know, I mean, they're slammed right now, and that course is still in great shape with all the play it gets. Well, I concur with that, and I'll tell you, I would rate, because I was there yesterday, and that's what Green Reader does. Oh, I didn't know you were And there. I was there yesterday, and I walked on the greens, and I said to myself, oh my God, yeah, they can't get any better. Yeah. And uh, the Green Reader, uh, I think we gave him like a 9.5 rating out of 10. Wow. Tradition. So, I was really impressed, I have to say. Yeah. Well, so would you concur with that nine five? I, I, yeah, you know, that's a little yeah. high, but uh, you know, yeah. I'm a tough, I'm a tough character. All right, you know. hey John, a lot of guys are going to thank you for your information because they can plan their trip based on those three courses. And if they played all three the next two days, they'd have a great trip. Absolutely. Okay, well that's the whole run. About it. Thanks for your time, buddy. You're welcome. Cheers, man. You got it. Good man. All right, Jimmy.